Well, good evening on this Friday. Yes, it turned out to be a pretty warm, sunny day and windy, especially this morning. We still have dry conditions and a red flag warning is still in effect until 7 o'clock this evening. We've had that very high fire danger today. We've got drought conditions and with dry vegetation, this danger is going to be here the next several days as the winds continue. Although tomorrow it drops a little bit, comes back up as the wind increases on Sunday. So over the next few days, it's uh, best to just be very careful with any outdoor burning. In fact, most counties outdoor burning is prohibited. As far as tonight, it's going to be a little cooler with our clear sky. Those winds are going to die down a bit tonight and temperatures in the upper 40s inland to upper 50s along the coast. So a nice start to our day tomorrow. Saturday is looking beautiful. Lots of sunshine tomorrow for actually the last official day of winter tomorrow. As we do reach into those low to mid 70s, it'll be nice. The wind though picking up a bit. It'll be breezy tomorrow afternoon as those winds come in from the east, and that's going to keep the coast near 70 degrees tomorrow. The wind coming off that uh, water, which is in the lower 60s. Inland will reach into the upper 70s to near 80 tomorrow. Beautiful day all across the coastal bend, and if you're heading to the beach, yes, there'll be plenty of sunshine. Don't forget the sunscreen, and we're looking at good beach conditions tomorrow. The wind picking up to about 10 to 15, coming in from the northeast to east. Temperatures, though, in the upper 60s to near 70 because of that wind coming off the water. High tide in the afternoon at 431. All right, speaking of the wind, it is going to start picking up again this weekend. Here are the forecast winds tonight. The wind comes down a bit, not as breezy. And then as we get into tomorrow, it picks up a little bit. So a breezy afternoon, notice the direction northeast to east winds tomorrow. Sunday starting off very quiet, but that southeast wind will increase to near 20 miles an hour. The wind will be picking up Sunday and Monday. All right, so our cold front went through last night. Now we have all that clear sky, that northerly wind that'll turn around to the east for Saturday. Lots of sunshine for it's tomorrow. Heading into Sunday, you'll notice watch from the south. The clouds increase. So we'll have sunshine Sunday morning, but moisture starts to increase as a warm front. It's going to lift across the area. That could even produce a couple of small showers here uh, Monday morning. Doesn't look like much rain, though, if any. But a couple of showers are possible early Monday. And then we're going to keep an eye on this cold front. This front, as it approaches Monday night, it is going to produce storms to the north. For us, it looks like we're going to, going to miss a lot of those. But there is a severe weather risk, and that's for Monday afternoon and Monday night, especially northeast Texas as warm, humid air feeds into this front. Not only that, but we have other ingredients, moisture, wind shear, and there's an upper low coming in. So we'll have to watch that Monday. Day. But for us, we're only looking at isolated showers or a thunderstorm. Uh, again, Monday morning, a few showers possible, and then uh, Monday night into Tuesday morning. And look how warm it gets after the weekend.